What is up you guys? It's your girl Mayor. We're back again with another YouTube video and for today's video as you guys can see from the title down below we will be trying some products from Glow and Go Beauty and Co. So I actually got this one as a Christmas gift from Ate Julie. Ayan. So shout out to Ate Julie. Thank you for giving me this one. So naisipan ko lang na might as well gawa na din natin na review because it's really ideal as a gift for girly people lalo na yung mga mahilig sa mga multi-use tints. So as you can see packaging wise the color is baby pink and then medyo minimalist siya because wala masyadong design except sa logo ni Lalito and then love oranges A and and then etong get your glow on because this is actually the 5 in 1 glow kit from Glow and Go Beauty and Co. Meron dito sa likod yung guide kung ano yung makukuha mong mismong products. So you can actually get a lip and cheek gel tint, a gel matte stain, a powder matte stain, a mousse blush, and HD illuminator. This is actually locally made, all natural, cruelty free, and 12 months shelf life. So size-wise, atong kanilang product is very handy-dandy kasi, ayan, palm size ko lang siya. Ayan, nagagrass ko pa siya ng ganun. So this one is very handy-dandy. And let's open it and see what's inside. So when you open it, ito yung una-una mong makikita, yung pink na cup ng kanilang mga lip products or kanilang mga products. And tada! So, eto na yung kanilang limang products. Ayan. Oops, nakikita ba? So, ayan. Okay, so first impression ko nung una ko makita yung kanilang mga products is that it actually looks like testers. <laughs> See, ang, ang liliit kasi, ang cute. They actually look like testers to me. Ayan, so ito yung first impression ko. So, isa-isahin natin and let's see what it has to offer. So, unahin natin iswatch itong kanilang um, lip and cheek gel tint in the shade Mean Girls. So, ayan, iswipe natin to. So, applicator niya is like the usual applicator lang din ng mga gel tints. And then, ayan, iswatch na natin siya dito. Okay, so here is how it looks like. Ayan, the usual red for lips and cheek and... It has a liquid consistency, so obviously it is a water-based tint. I think ito yung pinakaunang mga formulations na mga lip tints sa market. So this one is nothing new already. And yung amoy niya is actually amoy. Amoy cosmetics. Yun lang yung masasabi ko sa amoy niya. So next naman na iswatch natin is itong kanilang mousse blush in the shade Phoebe or Fabi. So, medyo naintiga ako sa name ng product na ito, Mousse Blush. Kasi ang alam ko lang, merong mga mousse lipsticks or mga clay blushes. Pero kung mousse blush, it means na hindi lang siya para sa lips. But it can also be used as a blush. So, let's see what it has to offer. So, ayan, iswatch na natin itong kanilang Mousse Blush in the shade Febby. Febby? Feeb? Ayan, so ganun pa din yung applicator niya. Just like nung kanina. And then, i-swatch natin siya sa ating wrist. So, eto na yung kulay niya. Para siyang old rose na merong coral mixture na color. And at the same time, meron siyang orange undertone. So, ganun yung appeal niya sa akin. And though mousse siya, yung um, formulation na is meron pa ding hint ng liquid. So, para siyang semi-mousse lang. Hindi siya like totally mousse talaga. But it is really pigmented ah. I don't know if it shows, pero magkakaiba talaga sila ng color. Though it shows na palang pareho lang sila sa camera. And scent-wise, actually, this smells like... Uh, this smells like strawberry. So, as for the blendability naman, let's try to apply this one sa ating cheeks. Ayan, so I'm just getting the right amount of product and... Oh my God, ang napadami hata, sis. Ayan, so lagyan na din natin sa kabila. So, ayan, nakapaglagay na tayo ng blush, konting blush, ayan, para hindi masyadong pale yung ating mukha. And as for the blendability nitong kanilang mousse blush, it is really nice because it gives you enough time to blend the product sa iyong cheeks. And what's more nice is that hindi siya kaagad nagsiset, so it really is a deal as a blush. Now, let us move on to their third product, which is itong kanilang HD Illuminator in the shade Coral. So, sa lahat ng products na meron tayo from Glow and Go Beauty and Co, sa product na ito ko pinaka na-excite kasi yung name ng product is HD Illuminator. So, compare dun sa iba, ito kasi meron siyang ingredients sa mismong packaging niya. So, may nakalagay dito na V, Co, Grape, Seed, Vitamin E, 
makeup powder, and sunflower oil. So, ayan, iswatch na natin itong kanilang HD Illuminator in the shade Coral. Ooh, same applicator, pero sobrang iba nung kulay niya. And ayan. Oops. Does it show? So, here is how it looks like. It actually looks like a lip gloss. And it is also good as an eyeshadow kasi yung orange undertone is very ideal for the lids. So, pwede rin ito as a topper for added shimmer when you use lip products. Ayan siya. And for its scent naman, it actually smells like caramel candy. Yeah, ganun yung amoy niya. And it is actually very shimmery. I don't know if it shows, but it's actually really shimmery. Ayan, nagre-reflection ng light. Which makes it very, very glossy. So, the next item naman is itong kanilang gel matte stain in the shade Diva. So, ayan, iswatch natin to. Ooh. Ooh. So, yung consistency niya is parang dun sa pinakaunang um, product na sinwatch natin. Ayan, pareho sila ng consistency. But here, the pigment is better. And scent-wise naman, yung amoy niya is... Yung amoy niya is medyo matapang. Oo, medyo matapang yung amoy niya. So, magkakapareho lang sila halos ng kulay nitong kanilang lip and cheek gel tint in the shade Mean Girls. At itong gel matte stain in the shade Diva. Ang pinagkaiba lang is that itong kanilang um, gel matte stain, which is this one, itong pang-apat na swatch natin, is mas pigmented siya and mas bright lang yung register ng kulay or yung um, saturation ng kulay kapag sinwatch sa, sa skin. Ayan. So, last but not the least is itong kanilang powder matte stain in the shade Watermelon. So, ayan. Swatch na natin to kasi sobrang naintriga ako sa shade niya. Ayan. So, swatch time. Oops. So, this one, itong kanilang powder matte stain is actually very pigmented. Siya yata yung pinaka-pigmented sa lahat. And one thing I also like about it is that it is a matte finish stain. Ayan. And one thing I also like is that super bilis niyang mag-dry up. Like, seconds lang from the time na sinwatch ko siya, nag-dry siya kaagad, which is very nice. Scent-wise naman, yung amoy niya is super orangey. Ayan, so, since ito naman yung favorite ko of all the products, so, ito na lang yung iswatch natin sa ating lips. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Ang ganda. Ang bango. Mm -hmm. So, ayan, tapos na natin iswatch sa ating lips itong kanilang powder matte stain in the shade Watermelon, and I like it so much because... I love this shade. Lakas makaputi nung shade niya. Ayan o. And like I said earlier, matte finish siya because it is powder matte stain. And one thing I also like is that it actually has a blurring effect. Ayan, medyo hinay niya yung mga imperfections nung lips ko which is very nice. So, ayan. Pack na pack kasi yung pagka-orange na pagka-brown. Alam mo yung brown na may orange na undertone. Ganun kasi yung appeal niya sa akin. So, it's really nice. Kasi lakas niyang makaputi. Lakas maka-empowered woman. So, kung napansin nyo kanina is that magkakapareho sila halos ng color. It's because atong collection na ito, itong 5-in-1 Glow Kit na ito from Glow and Go Bay, is actually their orange collection. So, Ang ibig sabihin ng orange collection is ito yung mga shades nila na merong orange undertone. So, makikita naman natin sa packaging pa lang, diba? May nakasulat na Love Oranges A. So, it means na ito yung mga products nila na merong orange undertone. And though, hindi masyadong kita sa camera, but actually, merong mga differences itong mga shades nila. Itong pinakaunang swatch natin is actually red na may orange undertone na light lang yung register or yung saturation. Ito... Sorry for my nails. Ito namang ikalawa is red na meron siyang pink na merong orange undertone. Etong pangatlo is purely coral and orange undertone. Etong pang-apat naman is same lang nung um, shade dito sa top part, yung pinakaunang swatch natin. Pero ang pinagkaiba is mas better yung pigmentation as, and yung saturation niya is there. And then, etong pang-apat is ito yung pinakaiba of all the colors here kasi ito yung brown brown na may orange na undertone which is itong suot natin sa lips ko ngayon. Ayan. 
Now, for my final verdict of this product, all I can say is that sulit naman siya because for 289 pesos, you get na 5 products. And sa 5 products na yun is you get na a product for your lips, for your cheeks, and pwede mo ding apply sa iyong lids. So, lahat ng products na included sa kanilang 5-in-1 Glow Kit is actually multi-use. Cute naman yung packaging niya because it's baby pink. Pero medyo na-off lang ako sa fact na walang masyadong nakalagay about the products. Like kung ilang ml or yung mga ingredients na ginamit. Wala kasi nun kaya medyo off siya para sa akin. Hindi rin tayo makakapag-wear test ngayon to test the longevity of the product. So, yeah, sad. But let us consider the fact that it is actually very handy dandy. And the fact that it's very ideal for on-the-go women. Because pwede mo lang siyang ilagay sa pocket mo. My overall rate for this product is... 8 out of 10. Ayan, so kung naghahanap ka ng ire-regalo sa jowa mo ngayong February 14, ngayong Valentine, so I suggest that you buy this one. I'm sure that she'll be happy if she's going to receive this one because she get 5 products in one packaging and it's pink pa. And what's more nice is that all the products in this 5-in-1 glow kit is actually multi-use. So ayan, if you also want to purchase this item, I will be linking them down below their Instagram page. Ayan, check the description box below. So ayan, that is all for today's video. If you like this video, you please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get the latest updates from my latest videos that is all see you on my next video bye